first of all, I think studying about another, another culture is a um, humanistic pursuit that's very valuable for under, understanding uh, others and oneself. So, and religion, uh, because it's so, uh, at least in the Western context, religious beliefs and practices are usually very personal, very, um, uh, how would you call it, um, intimate uh, part. It's a very intimate part of one's uh, self. So when, when you see other people's religious practices that are so different, uh, I think that's, that's a shock to that uh, sort of um, established self-image um, or personhood. And that, I think, is a very valuable way to, to get at the differences between you know, your culture and other people's cultures. So I think uh, Chinese religion it is such a uh, rich tradition. You know, there are so many uh, different kinds of practices, uh, and therefore, for a for somebody you know in in the Western world or in the non Chinese world studying Chinese religion, it's a very valuable lesson to really expand one's uh, not only understanding but also tolerance and perhaps uh, opportunities for incorporating. Um, you know, aspects of Chinese religion. You know, we already see, for example, in America, in, in Europe, so many Westerners uh, adopting Buddhist, Taoist, um, and, you know, of course, outside of the, of the Chinese religious context, you know, Hindu or uh, yogic practices. So I think that's a, um, you know, it's fashionably called interfaith or interreligious dialogue, but I think it has a lot of personal relevance or it, and it should.